Spider-Man. Spider-Man. You'd think I'd learn a lesson, but I don't. I just keep putting stuff at the beginning. It's probably going to get blacked out. Oh, well. It was fun. <laughs> um, all right. So this is stream number three. Uh, stream number two for YouTube. Actually, yeah, I actually posted yesterday's video for Doc Ock on Utah. Uh, on Utah. YouTube. It's hard to say. Anyway, um, I finished Doc off screen yesterday. And here in a second, I'll show him off. And I also did up Red Skull, which we'll show him in a second, you know, actually when you can actually see them. Um, let's switch over to the other camera where you can actually see this stuff. So we finished up Doc. There we go. Just a little bit of light off of him. Finished him up, got his goggles all done up, got his tentacles, all that fun stuff. Got his base down. I'd like to note that Doc Ock is crossing the street at the crosswalk. So, you know, sort of interesting. Um, so Doc got finished yesterday and then completely off camera because I wanted to do him ta-da Red Skull uh, knock him out really quick um, not the best blend on the cube but it'll work it'll get him on the table playing uh, I did use a little contrast paint on his uh, jacket and all that but I didn't like uh, I didn't like the way that the it turned out, so I went back and did a bunch of the gray lines and everything to set the coat up, and then a little blue wash to get some of the blue, out, you know, get some of the blue onto his jacket and all that fun stuff. And he has the oddest eyes. I don't know if I can get this in there close enough to see, <laughs> but I've got him, the way I did his eyeballs, he's actually staring at the cube, and it is the oddest looking thing ever, but it works. So anyway, on to today's project. Uh, we got Spider-Man and it's a really good sculpt. Um, somebody was asking yesterday if they could do like the different versions of him and everything. And I believe I saw something, but I'm not a hundred percent sure that, um, That there was a Miles Morales and uh, maybe a Spider Gwen also coming, but I don't, I don't know where I saw that, and or maybe I, I don't know, maybe I just dreamed that one up. Could be. Anyway, on this sculpt, the it's the traditional red over blue, or the opposite way, whichever one, and it uh, actually has the little lines sculpted into it, so his. The webbing and all that stuff is um, done up into the costume. Let me make sure I got all my other audio turned off and I don't have some kind of weird echo chamber going there. Um, I don't remember seeing him at Gen Con. I, I was there and I don't remember seeing him. But I even took a bunch of pictures. Yes, we are live. Uh, <laughs> it's another fun day of trying to paint all this stuff. Um, like I said, the the uh, webbing and everything is actually etched into the sculpt, and he's 
you know stuck to the side of this i-beam over here so without further ado we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot um i'm gonna try something a little different than what i do normally um i'm gonna use a little bit of ink and try to water it down just a little bit to get the red on there um i did use the zenithal again so we're gonna try there is no painting I, I'm, I'm working on it man i'm working on it anyway we're gonna use a little bit of red ink drop it in there and see what happens Strategically placed. My fault. Not stuck. I still like that beginning of like the Spider-Verse movie where Miles just starts sticking to everything accidentally. And even though Kai asked for it, we're, we're not doing Sapita Man today. Uh, we did start with the music, which will probably be muted out later. But um, no, we're not doing Sapita Man today. Um, although, technically, it is a Marvel license. Do y'all think you can get that one? <laughs> he even showed up in the, uh... Yep. Strategic. Today's word of the day is strategic. So I'm going to try not to get on to his little, his, around his eyes is actually uh, in there too. We'll end up doing that black. But there's no point. And look, there, first time way off the camera. So, as you can see, this is, uh, it's the, very similar to the wash that it did on the, uh, Iron Man. Uh, it's the exact same wash. It's just, without it being on top of that metallic, it takes on a completely different tone. And... We're going to have to go over him a couple of times to get that red to do like we want. So I posted last night on the North Georgia Crisis Protocol group that I'd finished up Red Skull 2. And John was like, how'd you finish that so fast? I figured out that I paint a whole lot faster when I'm not sitting here talking to myself. Uh, I'm thinking on the highlight, I'm gonna go back with, uh, <laughs> um, with an orange. Go back and do that and maybe run a little bit more red over the top of it if it stands out too much. Um, just really light into those uh, onto the different panels once I get the uh, once I get the black standing up from the webbing uh, we'll go back and do that I was gonna try to stay off the spider but we're just gonna paint it black later so we'll go ahead and hit it up There is a lot. So my camera is not the best in the world, but I mean, there is a lot of detail jammed into this model. If y'all haven't seen them, the, I mean, like all the webbing is done for you. You don't have to sit there and try to go back and freehand it. <laughs> Tempting to do them all in black and go back and do the silver, but uh. Maybe on mine. When I go back and do mine, I might do that all black. So 
So right now, just trying to get that color down, figure out where I want it. I think, yeah. Paint it black was uh, when I did uh, Red Skull yesterday. That, that was definitely paint it black. Like I said, I cheated and used some contrast, but it didn't. I didn't like it. The black wasn't quite dark enough for me, and so I put a couple more layers on there to get the black filled in, and then just did some highlights on him. He he turned out all right. I'm happy with him. It's not the best job in the world. It's not the best blend or anything like that. But you know what? He's ready to play with. So. Now, I also figured out yesterday that if I didn't change the settings on my uh, Facebook that only my friends could see this. So I actually changed the settings over, so hopefully, like, anybody from the North Georgia group will actually be able to poke in here and take a look. Cross over here. And the red ink goes pretty dark when I get it over top of. Yeah, you just saw that. <laughs> the red ink goes pretty dark where I, the black primer is still showing through. But that works. We don't ever need everything in the daylight. spot right there and then like around here on his little belt that goes around his waist I don't really think it's a belt but it's the little red spot that goes around his waist here get that done in Which is your favorite Spider-Man? Um, hmm. Okay, so I grew up watching Spider-Man and Friends. You know, the one with Firestar and Iceman. Um, it, it just had, you know, that was that was Saturday morning. Um, my favorite recently is probably the uh, Peter Parker from the End of the Spider Verse. I just Corbin wanted to see that movie, and I uh, I got it on iTunes, and we sat there and watched it. And I've probably watched it a dozen times since then. I just really like it, and Corbin likes it, and it's one of those ones where me and him can sit down and watch something together, and we don't. You know, it's not, it's just an easy one for me to sit down with him and watch, so it's loads of fun. Dad bod Spider-Man, spy, yep. Um. <laughs> it's a man after my own heart. What did I do with that red ink? There it went. I thought one drop would do it, but it didn't. So we're going to add another one.
Hey, Paul. Spider lizard. You would want... I guess that's as close as you can get to a spider dinosaur. So we'll let that slide, I guess. Although, I mean, if we're going to go to the non-human characters, uh, Spider-Ham, uh, I mean, you know, a spider bitten by a radioactive pig, I'm there. Yep, I'm way off the camera again. So like I said, this is just a quick and easy way to do this. Um, a lot of folks, I've, like, talking to different folks at the at, at Gigabytes and talking to, like, some of my friends and stuff on Facebook, they're like, well, you know, I don't have the, I, I can't paint like that. The thing is, is, yeah, yeah, you can. This right here, all this shading and stuff that's going on right now, is because of the ink. Um, all I did was, you take a little bit, I mean, you can do it with a rattle can. I did it with an airbrush, but it's the same thing. You just go back and you shoot the model with a black primer. And then you pick a you pick a point you pick an angle like the sun is this high in the sky and you shoot a gray one down it goes really easy it covers up a bunch of that and then but it leaves some of the black showing like uh, yeah that's it look at spider-man's crotch so it's gray up here on the top and it's darker underneath so you've already got your shadow built in and then you go back and you just, it, it's paint by number. It's not a problem. Take your time. You're, there's no rush. I mean, sure, you want to rush to get your stuff done because you want to play it. But take your time. Take a couple extra minutes. Just take a deep breath. Steady your hands. It's fine. Nobody's going to rush you. Once you... <laughs> yeah <laughs> I am not so it's uh luckily I don't have to freehand the black lines they're actually etched into this joker cause yeah that would be I, I don't have to freehand all the webbing and stuff um but like I was saying it, it's not especially with models like this these are these are really good models and if you've never painted a model before, this would be a great way to start because most of the models do a bunch of the work for you. Um, you just gotta, you know, paint inside the lines, get them down. You know, maybe the first one's not exactly where you wanted it to be. That's not a problem. You're gonna learn stuff painting the first one, and then the next one it's gonna look a little better, and then the next one it's gonna look a little better. And if worse comes to worst, you can take and put these in a little bit of wash. You can take the paint right off of them. I am just right off the screen again. You can put them in a little wash and take the paint off of them and try again once you've learned a little better. I'd say whatever one you do first, hold on to it. 
just so you got an idea of where you started and all that fun stuff I've the first model I ever painted was two years ago yeah actually October yeah it was two years ago and it was a uh, War Machine Lancer it's sitting over there on the shelf and I have like told myself I will never ever paint over that one it's it's staying the way that it was the day that I did it or actually the night that I did it I was working night watch and that's the whole reason I started painting these because two o'clock in the morning there's nothing else to do and nobody else is awake so I started painting these for something to pass the time over the night while everybody else was sleeping and that first one is, I mean, it's all right, but it's uh, its not what I do now. So, but I hold on to it because I like, you know, if I start thinking that, <laughs> if I start thinking that I, uh, that, 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 you know, this model doesn't look good at all, just take a look over there and see where you started. So last year. In October I painted another one and if you put them side by side it's a completely different experience so recently one of my friends up at gigabytes because I went looking on the shelf at gigabytes and couldn't find a Lancer one of my friends happened to have one that was sitting around collecting some dust and so I will go back last year I, I did another one put it side by side and then this year I'll do the same thing yep you gotta start somewhere and like I said these are uh, cause I'm gonna shake all the cameras um, these are really good models to start off with and if you've, if you've never painted any miniature then this is like a really good place to start alright so now I want to do a blue but I don't have like a blue ink so what do you do when you don't have a blue ink um, you've got a couple of different options depending on what you want to do you, you're just basically going to take a blue and thin it out and I think what I'm going to do to start off with to get the base color down is start off with this Cantor blue. Any blue will do. Um, it just happens to be the one that is right here handy and it is the cl oh, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Nope. That's a little darker than I want. This is a little brighter blue. Um, but it's just regular paint. That being said, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to take that and I'm going to take a little medium and a little bit of water and I'm going to put those all together to sort of make my own little sort of homemade wash. Once again, folks are like, oh, I can't do this. It's too complicated. No, it's not. If you don't have medium, it's not a problem. You can, <clears throat> sorry, you can just go through and add water and water it down. You just got to watch it a little bit, it, depending on, like, if if there's a bunch of stuff in your water at home, um, you might end up with little spots when it dries. Um, the medium is basically the same stuff that they make the paint out of, That's my understanding. I'm not 100% on that. But what you can do is you can take that blue and thin it out really nice I wish I had another camera to where you could actually see what just happened there hold on a second alright so all we did was that blue little dab that I got off the back of the brush put that and I took the little medium it's just clear it's just there's no color to it whatsoever stick a little bit of that on there and push them together and you end up with this really thin color that you can go across there and 
the color underneath still shows through. If you ever you get into this and you're like, I want to get better. Um, I, I know he doesn't work for him anymore, but uh, Dallas has a bunch of videos that you can go back and find. And there's all kinds of little techniques that he shows that they're, uh, I mean, it may be something that you're not ready to go for yet, but it gives you somewhere to, it gives you somewhere to start and it gives you somewhere to go. So, you know, when you, when you've got it to where you can stay inside the lines and you're tired of flat colors, you know, watch a video, learn how to do the highlights. <laughs> yes, I forgot you've started back up. Uh, Atomic Mass Games also is doing paint streams on Thursdays. Um, so far it's been, um... Uh, Um, or so far it's been, uh, Dallas and I think Schick, isn't it? Little Schick, um, another person from Atomic Mass Games. Um, and Dallas is saying also ask him in the group, but you know, you can go back and watch some of those videos and learn some techniques and, or if you ever bump into Dallas at, say, like Gen Con, and you ask him about two brush blending, he'll sit there and show you for 30, 40 minutes while you just sit there and uh, watch him go. It's it's awesome. It was really fun, man. Um, anyway, you learn. Uh, just don't try to do everything at once. You're not gonna. You're not that first model's not going to look like a studio model. It's not going to look like a box. That's fine. Get it as close as you can get it. Or get it however you want it. Yep. So that blue paint that we took, we thinned it out a little bit and we basically just made it. I'm not sure if this is a, if I don't want to say which one it is. Is this a wash or a glaze? I'm not sure, but it's one of those two. <laughs> I don't know enough about it to say which one it is. I just know that it works. I wouldn't say that it was a glaze because I know if I went back with a glaze, if I went with like a pre-made glaze and tried to do this, you got to watch them because if they're not dry, it will strip that joker right off and you'll end up with a color. It goes back, like you'll rip this color off and it goes back to the color that's showing underneath or showing through. It, it gets real splotchy real fast and then it becomes a nightmare to try to fix. Okay, so not not a wash. This is a Okay. So is this technically a There we go. Yeah, we're, so we're technically doing a glaze. I probably called it a wash, but I'm I don't know all the terms. I just know that the technique works and it looks good when you get done. Why are you doing a painting stream? Because I have fun doing it. That's why. And that's half of what all this is. If you're having fun doing it, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about it. Just go ahead and do it.
like I said, this is just one technique. I mean, you could go through here and do a full, and I'm off the screen. <laughs> Both are techniques, not things. Okay. <laughs> I'll learn. I'll learn. I promise. So I'm just going back and hitting that blue that we've put down to darken it up. Because I did it really thin, that that dark, um, so where we did the Zenithal Prime is still showing through. <laughs> oh, that's not the first time that's happened, Paul. Um, so the, the Zenithal, the the lighter areas are picking up more of the blue and while the darker areas are still getting turned blue, it's a darker blue. So yep. so just real quick. Now, I don't like some of the down here on his legs. So I'm going to go back and put one more layer on top of it. Just real thin. I'm going to try to keep, keep it real thin because it's about the color that I want. But it's just not as even as I'd like it. So I'll put a little bit more water onto my brush. Which is probably tinted red now. But shh, don't tell anybody. And I'm going to go back and just try to even this out a little bit. Yep, you saw me just pop him in the tummy. Yep, that happened. That's all right. We'll do something over the top of that. Put a highlight there or something. Darken it up. It won't even notice. Just try to do it real fast so it doesn't, so it goes down real even. You don't end up in little spots and all that fun stuff. There we go. I would definitely say purple. It tastes like grape. It doesn't taste as good as the purple crayons, though. I mean, I was in the Marines. I guess that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to some folks because you can't see the chat down here. Uh, Paul asked what color tastes best. Again, I'm just going back and touching up that blue. I don't want it to just become one solid color all the way across. I want to let that stuff come, the, I want to let the primer do the work for me underneath so I get my shadows. But I want the color to be somewhat consistent and I want it to not be splotchy. Hmm. All right. So I did, you know, mistakes happen. I got like a little spot right there. And I think if I just take a little red ink just give it a little boop and a boop. Ta da!
<sighs> oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. So I'm thinking what I want to do. Do I want to do the... Do I want to do the webbing? <laughs> or do I want to... Or do I want to uh, uh, try to shade it a little bit? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you right now, the contrast paints don't taste good at all. Uh, there might be a little debate going right here on which paints test best, but the contrast don't, don't, they're, ooh, bleh. You got a little bit of that on your brush and you stick that in your mouth, you're you're gonna know it. Alright. So what I'm gonna do. I don't want to disappoint John. But I don't know if I can do this and talk at the same time. Like I said, I'm not that good a painter but I'm gonna give this a shot because worst comes to worst I can just put more red over the top of it and go back and do it again we're gonna take oh and if you ever just stick straight medium into your mouth that's an experience too that is blah. I do not suggest that either all right so what I did hmm. all right so one thing that I have learned is that I started off using a like way too small brush Big brushes are nice. You want a little bit of water in them. And I did learn one thing. That little round bit back here, it's called the belly, and it holds water. And you don't want your paint up in there too much. When you start off, you'll have this thing about just gooping it on. And you'll find that the tip of that brush dries out really, really fast. And it just won't come down or won't come off the brush. It's aggravating as hell. Eventually, you'll figure out that you don't want that much paint on there. You just get a little bit on there, a little bit on the tip, and the rest has got water in it. And what you want to do is let that water come out of the brush. So what I'm doing, so I've got a really thinned out black. Now I'm just going to follow the lines. And if you get it thinned out enough, the, the paint almost draws out of the brush. I don't know what capillary action I think is technically what it's called but it like comes out of the brush on its own put it in that little ridge and it just sucks it out like a straw You just barely gotta touch it, and it's because there's a little ridge there. It just draws it right down into that. The trick is making sure that your brush hits there. So. Like I 
I said, it's just right there. Just sort of let it come over. Run right in there. Easy peasy. Oh, another trick. Everybody's like, I my hands shake. Not a problem. What you do is you create a little tripod for yourself. And you're like, tripod? What? Yeah, well, it didn't make sense to me either, but what you're doing is you're stabilizing yourself. If you notice, my hands are almost like cupped together. So anything that my left hand does, my right hand follows. If I shake this hand, it goes with that. The brush goes, all this fun stuff. Um, folks are like, my hands shake. Well, it's not a problem. Stabilize your hands like that, and then just take a deep breath and sort of practice above it where you're wanting to draw that line. And then just slowly bring it down into there. All you're doing is letting the brush do the work. Right there. There's a little groove, and I'm just going to really slowly put the tip of that down there and let that paint run off the end of the brush and get down into that groove. Is it perfect? No. Will I be able to play with these on the tabletop and know that this is Spider-Man? Yes. Then we're going to go around. Now this is going to get a little tricky. There we go. There's one little line that runs right through the middle of his belt all the way around. And it connects to that line right there. Get just a little bit more. I know this is not like exciting stuff. But it goes. Alright, so let's do his noggin and then we'll see where we're at. So the same thing. Um, there we go. So basically, we're just letting the little grooves on the model pull the lines I'm just sort of easing it around and letting the the brush find those grooves and put a little bit of ink in there, or ink paint in there so make sure I'm still on screen I'm just going to run it right along those little grooves. Yes, I stick my tongue out. 
felt myself doing it. really just trying to get the very tip of that brush in there. And we're just going to run this line up the back side of his head. If you can see that, but my hands got a little shaking them too. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Hell, you don't even have to. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could just take a you could take something like null oil or armor wash or something like that and just hit those spots and maybe go back over the red you could do that too it'll work just because you see somebody do it this way doesn't mean this is the only way to do it There's millions of ways you can guarantee that ooh wow I am shaky 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 oh going back to that tripod which I am not doing right now I don't know if you can see that thing moving but it is moving um Couldn't find the little line. Found it. So what you can't see is that my elbows are like glued to this desk. That's part of why the camera's got a shake to it. Because I'm leaning on the desk for support. And my wonderful iPhone, which is providing these lovely images, is on this big coily stand that I got. And that's why it's shaking, because it's, it's up there just hanging out. And now the tricky bit. <laughs> Trying to get right around his nose. There's a line coming right there on his jaw. Mm. It goes around into that. I think I already got that side. And then there's a little line up here right underneath his nose. One right there around his mouth. And then we're going to bring one down there. There's one right there. And then a couple more right there. And I think that. Like I said, not the best camera in the world, but you can see it. It grabs those little, like, you can tell the difference between up here. 
in his back because his back I haven't done yet. It's just got the lines in it. But we're going to take our spider. We're going to take a little thicker paint for it because I don't want the I don't want the paint running off on this one. Water's your friend. <clears throat> yep. So. There's a leg. There's a leg. There's a leg. And there's a leg. Really, just have fun with it. Sixty two comments. I think that's probably the most comments that I've ever gotten in a video. I'm really doing like I said that the spider in the center is raised and so I'm just sort of running it over and letting the brush hit the top of that and it's you know I'm not really trying to draw the spider I'm just trying to hit the parts where it's raised and I can let the model do the work Alright, let's make him look a little more like Spider-Man. So around his eyes, we have knees. Hmm. Do I want to do this before I do the white on his eyes? I just realized that. Yep, we're going for it. Why the hell not? If not, we'll fix it in post. That's not going to happen. We're doing it live. So that's what I was talking about. There's a little, if you look on there, see that little bead right there? That little bead's what I've been painting with, but it's not, it dried up. It took too long. So, even though even though I was touching the model, it wasn't, no paint was dropping onto it, so. And 
there's no right way to hold the model. Whatever works for you. Holding my breath? Yes. Yes, I am. Does it help? I don't know, but I'm used to doing it while I'm trying to line up a shot, so it's what I do. It's something you learn. <laughs> By the ankle doesn't work. I mean, <laughs> folks get touchy to start doing that. All right. So Spidey's starting to look like Spidey. And... I'll try to get him to look a little more like Spidey before we take off. I figure about an hour on one of these is about where everybody see it seems to work well. It was about an hour. <laughs> yes, if, if you're dipping a child into the river sticks, by the ankle is completely acceptable. over here. Am I even on the camera? I am. Maybe I should move the brush away from the model before I look. Yes, my tongue was sticking out. Just take your time. It's not a rush. All these little raised spots and everything. Let the, I mean, you just sort of let the brush run around it. I don't really, I'm just trying to get the brush near it and hit it. I'm not really trying to draw a line with the brush. I know that that raised bit is supposed to be black, so I just run along there. Let run around. Boop, boop. So you'll find that, like, if you start painting these and everything, or at least for me, it's 
it's almost like a meditation. Uh, well, not when I'm doing a live stream because I sit here and talk to myself and it sort of feels weird. Um, but when I uh, when it's just me sitting here painting, and I'm not talking to myself incessantly, because trust me, I don't talk like this when the cameras aren't on. Um, and I just got a phone call. And now we're back. Like I said, it's my phone doing the camera work, so. Um, when I'm not sitting here talking to myself, I paint faster. Arguably better. I said arguably. But I find that as I sit here and everything, I sort of, everything sort of tunes out and I get to focus on this and all that buzz and all that in my head just sort of goes away. I get to focus on this. My breathing slows down. Thanks to my little Apple Watch, I can actually go back and watch when I paint. I can take a look at it, and you can actually watch my heart rate go down. Um, it's pretty neat. <laughs> trick is, is not holding your breath too long. All right. It's been about an hour. So I think I'm going to call this call this stream done so what what else are we gonna do well I'm gonna take and do some highlights on some of the panels and everything through his chest let's see come here Spidey so like on the panels on his chest and stuff there's some little spots and I will take it, it sounds weird but it works um, it's the same thing we did with Red Skull here if you look at his face, you can see the brighter spots and everything. It's not actually a red that's on there, it's an orange. And we just use it real thin. And it highlights the red. So we took a red on his on his head, and then I used a, a red wash, a crimson and darkened it up and then I brought a little bit of the color back and a little bit more of the color back and then we end up with that highlight of orange um, I'm actually that color right there um, it's it the first time you do it you're gonna be scared and it's and you're gonna be like nope this isn't gonna work this isn't gonna work trust me just use small bits of this it works great um, so we'll take a little bit of that and put it across his chest and across his shoulders and across the top of his head to give it a little more highlight so he uh, pops just a little bit more. And then we may take a slightly lighter blue and run it across the top, oh, as I block it with my finger, run it across the top of his the muscles and stuff on his legs and around the side and the arms to where... Um, we get a little more definition there. And then of course we'll do the base. Um, 
he's got that I beam, so we'll do that in some kind of uh, we'll do that in some kind of uh, we'll make that look like metal. I don't know what we'll do yet. I don't know if we'll make it try to look rusty or what, but we'll do that around, and uh, then we'll attach him. You can't really see the base because it's all white, but we'll paint that up gray. It'll match the uh, debris and stuff at the bottom and tie it all in. So probably do all that off camera and check it out on Instagram. Um, later on tonight, I'll post it up and probably do another character here in a bit too. So hold on. Hey, look, I'm back. So the, uh, like I said, we'll probably, probably do the rest of him off camera. I'll post up some pictures tonight on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, whenever I post on Instagram, I, I do it automatically over to Facebook. Um, again, it's, it's Marvel crisis protocol. Um, it comes out November 15th. Um, check your local game store. They probably still have pre-orders to where you can is you know get your hands on this in a couple of weeks um if you happen to be in the atlanta area check out gigabytes uh go on to their facebook page they've got some deals posted on there you can find the north georgia Christ marvel crisis protocol group uh, it's uh it's just everybody in the metro area sort of hopping on there that's excited about the game um uh, check on there they got some bundle deals that are really good um like i said it comes with 10 figures and terrain it's everything that you need to start a game even if you've never played any kind of tabletop game before it's it's a it's a great way to start um you, you get sorry it's not primed but like you get the daily the daily bugle there we go it's not primed yet but it will be here in a day or so and you get that and a couple of vehicles and some street lights and some traffic lights and some big dumpsters and you get a trash can all this stuff is usable in the game and you get to you can, I don't think you can throw the building, but you can throw the dumpsters. You can, you know, you can have, you can smash your enemies' characters into all the fun stuff. It's, it's a lot of fun. Check it out. Um, if you haven't, if you haven't seen all the characters that are going to be available, check it out. Atomic Mass Games. Uh, they're online. Really easy to find. Till next time, well, I'll probably finish him up and then another character, leave a comment somewhere in here and uh, whatever everybody says, I'll paint that one up next and we'll post some pictures of that tonight. Till next time, go paint some stuff.